Hello, and welcome to another episode of Get Your Fill, Financial Independence and Long Life, where we explore ways to achieve those two goals. And if we're talking about financial independence, you're going to need to meet Marco Torres because he is going to explain to us how he took somebody from basically where they were at was not that much to adding $400,000 worth of sales in four days. Would you like to do that for your business? Marco is the founder of marketingboost.com and he I, I, you know, I'm going to let him tell us all about all the ways that he's helped to help businesses just like yours to boost their sales and to, and to do some really amazing things they might not have ever thought they could do. Um, Marco, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you, Christina. I'm excited to be here and hopefully add some value bombs to your audience on how to scale and grow their business. Uh, just a list, real brief touch on who I'm at and why anybody who listen to me. Uh, I've been an internet marketer since the mid 90s. So I've uh, been around watching the entire evolution of the internet. Yeah, I was a spammer before they called it spam. I was... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I was doing uh, millions of emails a month in the early 90s when everybody loved their email back when the days of AOL. And so I watched the whole thing grow and come about. And uh, so now we, uh, my most recent business we launched in 2017 is a company called marketingboost.com. We have a Facebook group with over 28,000 entrepreneurs that, that share and learn from each other on how to use the travel incentives that we offer today to help boost sales dramatically. And you mentioned the gentleman who went from zero up, you know, $400,000 in four days. So let me jump right into that. And so what he did was he had built a, um, an audience of, uh, or a membership platform on Telegram, actually, kind of a new, uh, relatively new social media platform. And he had people paying him $97 a month. Uh, and he launched this business in January of 2021. And he had them paying 97 a month for his access to his tips and when to buy and sell and trade stock and cryptocurrencies and and he had, uh, you know, he had built it up. We had hundreds of them paying him, hundreds of them with a free version, and then hundreds, even hundreds more paying him 97 a month. Well, he found Marketing Boost, and we worked on a plan together to uh, for him to promote paying him an annual membership versus monthly or a six-month prepaid membership. So he launched a campaign emailing and text messaging his membership saying, hey, if you step up and become a gold member, I forget what he called them, but if you pay for six months in advance, You'll get your choice. You know, not only will you get the six months of service plus a seventh month free, he threw in his own added value incentive with the seventh month free. You'll also get uh, your choice of three nights in Las Vegas or Orlando as a bonus trip for upgrading to the gold plan. And if you step up to the platinum plan, which was 12 months prepaid at $97 a month, he gave them the 13th month free plus your choice of five nights in Hawaii or five nights in Cancun. So he generated, he had over uh, over 300 of them step up and pay for the annual plan at over $1,200 a piece. And he had about 600, I mean, I'm sorry, 150 of them or so pay for six months in advance at six or 700 each. And it added up to over $400,000 in additional cash flow in four days. And then that became his ongoing part of his ongoing process. So now after he after they use his service for the monthly plan for a while, then he then he offers them the upgrade. Hey, you know, after they've tested and used and seen the value of his service, he says, boom, jump up to the annual plan or the biannual plan. And these are the added value bonuses that he could include versus discounting. And, and that's just one idea, uh, Christine, I've got it, but let me back up if I can and tell you what Marketing Boost is, or if that's okay, I'll continue. Yeah, please, absolutely. I'll get the microphone. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so Marketing Boost is a membership platform. And what we do is we provide the wow factor, the surprise and delight factor that many businesses can use to really stand out from the crowd and add value to whatever your offer is versus discounting. One of the challenges we all face nowadays is, you know, we're, we're up against a lot of competitors and we find ourselves uh, tempted to, to, to compete on price and you're offering a discounts and then you end up training your clientele to wait for the next discount before they do business with you again. And that's if they do business with you again. And so, 
Uh, what we found is that we can teach business owners to, to use our travel incentives. So what we are is a membership platform that gives three different categories of, of incentives that can be used to add value. One is complimentary hotel stays in from three night stays up to seven night stays in over 125 destinations around the world, like three nights for compliment, complimentary three night stays in Las Vegas, Orlando, San Diego, Branson. I mean, there's 30 US destinations, five night stays in places like Hawaii, Cancun, four nights in Cabo or Puchacana, uh, seven nights in Phuket, Thailand or Bali, all, all over Australia, all over Europe. So we've now a global company that offers these incentives. We also have hotel savings vouchers that come in in uh, increments of $100, $2, $3, and $500, and restaurant savings vouchers. Those are the three categories. And so we teach our members to to uh, what I say, what I call use micro incentives for a micro call to action. So you don't want to give somebody a five night trip to Cancun for joining your e newsletter, you know your your newsletter list. It sounds too good to be true, and it won't it won't help your your offer. So you want to use a, a based on your call to action using a smaller incentive. One of the tools that many of our members are, are doing are very successfully is today. You know we all use Zoom calls, or many of us are using Zoom calls or, or similar technology to, uh, to to book appointments. So we don't no longer have to drive, travel, drive all over town to meet our prospects and make sales appointments. We can do it on Zoom and meet people anywhere in the world. So we got used to that with COVID, thankfully, and now we're all meeting on Zoom. And But now people booking it. So you've got two challenges. One, can you get people to book that appointment with you? And two, will they actually show up? So even when your calendar starts to fill up, we find, you know, our many of our clients find that a lot of people are no-shows. And so we find that using the, the micro, the smaller incentives are an incredible tool to get people, one, to book the appointment, and more importantly, to show up. So now you're, if you've got automation, and you should if you don't, your automated emails and text reminders to get them to, to remind them about the appointment is going to also be saying, hey, don't forget, I'm going to reward you with a $100 hotel savings card, good at a ballot at over a million hotels worldwide for showing up on time. We know your time is valuable. We think ours is as well. So if you show up on time for the appointment, we're going to reward you with a $100 hotel savings card or 200 or 300, whatever you want to put there. And that uh, that alone can boost your appointments and your and obviously if people are showing up, you're going to boost your sales and whether that be for you or your entire sales team. So there's just a couple of examples of how these travel incentives can can be, there's a million ways to skin this cat too on, on, on thinking of being a little bit creative. You can find ways to make entire marketing campaigns for lead generation, for loyalty programs, for customer service problems and solutions with, you know, using our incentives to help, to help calm down somebody who's upset. I mean, I can go on with ideas on how to use these incentives to totally, you know, um, game change your business, be a total game changer. Yeah, I can see how that would be really, I mean, a lot of people sign up, you know, will come to a thing just for like a $5 Dunkin' Donuts card. I can imagine if you're giving them a <laughs> stay in a hotel, right? People would be willing to jump through hoops. But how does that work for, for the entrepreneur? I mean, how do they, how do they buy these things or how does it, you know what I mean? How do they get these things to give to their clients? Great question. And when, when, and we made it, when we got into this travel incentive business, or we're not the first on the block to do it. I and mean, there's been travel incentive companies around for decades. And um, when we got involved, we've been in the travel space, my partners and I, since the, I've been in the travel space since 1993, but my partners and I started and launched our own business in 2010. And we built one of the biggest travel companies at that time, you know, over the, over, during the last decade. And, and then Marketing Boost came about as a side product. But uh, when we got involved, we said, you know, we want to make this a totally, you know, re totally revolutionize the travel uh, incentive business. And that's what we've done. So we've made it a win, win, win for all, everybody involved. And one, we, um, the, the way we came about this is we, we got our resort partners around the world and hotel partners and created a win for them because we're helping fill rooms that would have otherwise gone empty for these hotel partners around the world. We found it and they went and we when we solicited them, you know, we made them realize, look, we know you've, that you have a problem. One, 
your hotels are never full. You're full for certain weekends, peak season, holidays. Um, but 70% of the year, 30% of your rooms go empty. So we can help you put warm bodies in those rooms, families, couples, individuals that will spend money at the bar, the restaurant, the spa, the casino, the, uh, the gift shop, the excursion desks. And so, and they agreed. And then so little by little, we grew that until we had hundreds of participating resorts and that became what Marketing Boost is today. So it's a win for the resorts and hotel partners because they're getting some revenue versus no revenue on unsold rooms. Then we created it to be a win for the Marketing Boost members because it's a, it's a no brainer. It's, it's only $37 a month to be a member of Marketing Boost. And that gives you the ability to give away an unlimited amount of these travel incentives throughout for whatever your marketing strategies are. So there's uh, no additional cost. Our competitors would typically sell these incentives for as much as $100 each. So, and we're providing them with a subscription plan of 37 a month that gives you the ability to use these any way you want, as many as you want uh, throughout, throughout the program. And then we made it a win for the consumer who receives the incentives, for example, the complimentary hotel stay, because they're traveling for, you know, next to nothing. The, the incentive does have, uh, well, depends. The hotel savings cards, they work like a gift card, but they don't pay for the entire hotel stay. They will discount the room rate from compared to the uh, Expedia's of the world. So they'll give from 10 to 50% off. The restaurant savings vouchers, again, those are like buy one, get one freeze, 10% off, 25% off. So they'll save the consumer money. And the complimentary hotel stays, there is a, um, an activation fee, which covers the government taxes because of course, they don't include airfare, they don't include food and beverage, and they don't include the government taxes and fees. So either the Marketing Boost member can opt to pay for that activation fee for their client, and most of our members don't, but if, you make, if you've got a really high-end ticket item and you're making very high profit margin, then you might wanna go ahead and pay that activation fee and truly give your client a completely free uh, hotel stay. Um, or like the majority of our members do, they'll, they'll give them the certificate and they'll just do a simple disclosure, which is to say, they, here, I'm giving you a complimentary hotel stay five nights in Cancun. They don't include airfare. They don't include, it won't include food and beverage and it won't include government taxes, of course. So you're on the hook for that, but I'm gonna cover your hotel stay. And now you've given the, the main disclosures and the client can opt to activate the certificate or not. And you did your part because you gave them the incentive that you promised with whatever your call to action was. Now, whether they actually activate it and, and is, up, is up to the client. So that's what most of our members do. So they have no additional expense other than the 37 a month to be able to enhance the value of their calls to action and give away these amazing high, these highly, you know, high perceived value uh, incentives and add it to whatever their call to action is, which might be buy product A and get the you know, the bonus incentive included, or buy product B to go with, you know, get your upsell built in, buy product B to go with product A, and we're throwing in your choice of three nights in Hawaii. Uh, I'm sorry, three nights in Can in Orlando or Las Vegas. And then it might be buy our bundle package, you know, you get product A, B, and C for only 997 and get, you know, your choice of Cancun or Hawaii. So you can build a, a value scale or so to speak, you know, where as you raise the, the scale, the purchase power of, I mean, the, um, the, the purchase price of your program or your product or your, or maybe it's a loyalty program. If you're an online retailer, you might be saying, you know, your average transaction is only $100, you wish it was 500. So maybe you put a loyalty program in place and you say, look, as soon as you get to $500 of purchases, whether you do it all in one day or over the next three months, when you've made $500 worth of purchases, you'll be rewarded with six days, five nights in Cancun on us, your, you know, hotel, and then you have the disclosures, airfare is not included, food and beverage is not included, and neither are government taxes and fees. And then Boom, and we can show you. That's part of what we do with that Facebook group. We're we're teaching members, like you know, how to how to how to how to uh, disclose the disclaimers, how to position the offer with your whatever your product or service is, and that kind of thing. Because it it can um, yeah, it's it's easy really, but 
you know, we kind of give ideas and creatives and share ideas with our with with the with the entire organ, you know, group of entrepreneurs. So it seems like I mean, it seems like a cool, really interesting program. But I can see where there'd be a sort of a danger if you're choosing too great of a gift, right? Because it's all the same to the entrepreneur, right? I mean, I can just throw in seven nights in Hawaii for everybody who, you know, signs up my email, like you say, but then that becomes like sort of smarmy and people are like, well, okay, what's the catch here? You know, why would the heck would they want to give me this when I'm only, you know, what I'm giving them? So it makes, you know, how do you sort of, is there like a guideline where you can say, okay, you know, if your thing is free, then give this little thing. And if you're, you know, the higher the value, is there like a never give more, you know what I mean? Like a little yeah, that's, that's, thumb. <laughs> that's actually a good idea. We haven't created kind of a, a scale or a PDF to, you know, or anything that really gives you that, that, that format. We, we let our marketers do what they want with their creatives, but we do overall teach and preach that although you you have the ability as a marketing boost member to give away an unlimited amount of these any way you want, we do teach don't give them out like candy, because if you give them out like candy, you're reducing the perceived value of the incentive, and uh, instead of helping, it well, you know you need to create scarcity and urgency, and use these somewhat sparingly so that they uh, so they hold that perceived value. Or, or only with the higher call to action, only with, you know, maybe you're a, let's say you're a gym, you might be doing, look, uh, you sign up for the gym membership with your personal uh, training coach. Uh, when you reach your goal in 90 days and we've, and you've followed the program and you lose the 15 pounds that we've agreed that you need, that we can get you there in 90 days, when you lose those 15 pounds and when you've been with, followed our program for 90 days, we're going to reward you with three nights in Las Vegas so you can go show off that new sexy hard body, you know, or maybe it's a, uh, if you're a business coach, you might dangle the big carrot, you know, if we, you, you know that you can't, it, you, it's maybe hard to get them to sign an, uh, an annual contract, but you kind of know, I really need this client to work with me for a minimum of six months in order for this to, for, for me to be able to implement all the ideas and things and hold them accountable to grow their business. So you say, look, when we reach the six month anniversary, I'm going to reward you with six days and five nights and your choice of Hawaii or Cancun on us. Doesn't include airfare, doesn't include food and beverage and, you know, do the disclaimers, but, but boom, now you've got a, you're, you're rewarding them with a, with a program, you know, and you're basing it on sticking with you for six months. So you're winning on two sides. You're, you're help, make, help getting that client to stick with you and keep paying that monthly fee for the six months before they earn the bonus, for example. And there's, there's all kinds of ways like that, that, that these can be used, uh, creating that scarcity and urgency. I mentioned using them for Zoom calls. They can be used to get people to join a webinar, get people to, uh, uh, you know, so you might want to uh, let everybody know, hey, we're running a webinar this Tuesday, you know, everybody come log in. We're giving away three trips to Cancun on this webinar. And only if you're on live and if you're still on the call at the end of the 45 minute webinar, we're going to be, we're going to be, of course, selecting the winners from who are the most interactive and most engaged. So when, so now you're asking your clientele to participate in game, uh, and, and be involved and to win, to potentially be selected as the winner of that and, and so on. And mind you, we also teach our members, you got to create sometimes your own incentives that are, re that are relevant to your exact business. And that might mean you know, adding additional units, bonuses, buy one, get one. That might be your own, your own product. Of course, you wrote last year that now you can throw in as a bonus and uh, so on. So that's just, um, so, oh, I, one of the things I think your members would, would, list, would, would appreciate, Christine, is these incentives can really be used to grow, for example, Facebook groups, you know, to grow your following. I've had members, many a member that have, uh, I got one guy who turned it into a course to teach other members how to grow their Facebook group by using travel incentives as weekly contests that everybody who joins the group is then informed when you share the group with your friends and relatives, if they join the group or rather just by sharing it with 20 people or what have you, depending upon how they want to come up with the contest, you'll be entered to win. 
a free this week it's a trip to cancun next week it's a trip to uh, san diego and following week it's a trip to manhattan then it's a trip to myrtle beach and so they're running a contest every week promoting it to share this with your friends and get a chance to win and uh, so again they're they're creating that scarcity and urgency they don't give them to everybody they give them to whoever's get, inviting the most friends to the group and then they make a big deal out of it you know go live on the facebook group with the certificate that they're sending to the client i'm giving you you know three nights in orlando three nights in vegas for sharing the most people to join our group and as the group builds then what now what do you do with the facebook group it can be a huge money maker because now you've got an audience that you can that you, of course this is work but you're going to do, present yourself as the authority in your facebook group you're going to you know provide content free content you're going to be inviting them to your webinars your live events you're providing them you know opportunities to you know do promo cycles and buy your product or service so that following is key in today's world is you've got to build your own database whether it be building emails which by the way these incentives could be used to to for lead generation ideas sweepstakes contests but anyway got to build that database of emails phone numbers for text message and uh, voicemail broadcasting. The Facebook group can be, you know, an audience that you are, or other platforms nowadays where you can own the, the, the data better than a Facebook group. You can build a platform, a, a following on, on different platforms where you actually can mark, you know, once they join that group, you can market to them anytime you want. So that's just uh, a little bit, Christine. Uh, you have any questions on ideas there that I've dropped so far? Yeah. I mean, you know, naturally, selfishly, I'm thinking about my own, you know, many businesses, but um, yeah, let's make it something like that. Let's do a, a test thing where let's say I have a new podcast and I want to try to get more listeners. I mean, obviously you've got the small pool of listeners who tuned in to episode one. How do you help those people to, uh, to promote it? And how could you I, mean, I guess in a situation like that, it's very hard to track, right? Who's so you just kind of have to open it up to all listeners. Yeah, with a podcast that, that I'm aware, I do have podcasters that use our incentives, and uh, the the one I'm thinking of is Brian Kelly that comes to mind. He's a pretty big podcaster, and he uh, he uses the incentives. He he does go live on on his podcast. So during his live podcasts, he's promoting the, I'm going to give away a free trip on each, on each live podcast. So he promotes it in advance. He's all over LinkedIn and he's saying, join our podcast. This is the subject. And by the way, we're giving away a five night trip to Cancun live on the podcast. So make sure you're there with us and so forth. And so, uh, that is, um, uh, an idea there. Um, uh, if you build, um, because when you have a podcast, it's hard to get the data. You don't necessarily get, as far as I know, you don't necessarily get the, when people download it, you're not capturing email or phone number right, or, email exactly. or anything exactly. to, to yeah. market to them. Um, and I'm looking to launch my own podcast as well. So I, I struggle with, I wonder, I'm, I'm actually trying to figure out what would be the best way to grow an audience on for podcasting the uh, the incentives but i know it, it can be used for the you know for the excitement during the podcast and especially if you're going live on facebook and linkedin and other platforms that's where the the incent the incentives on the live shows can be uh engaging at least or made to have some fun with it um and and then maybe there's a way where during the podcast you could be promoting a link promoting a place to go mm -hmm. to opt in to win the, 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 the contest or win the bonus prize or what have you. And then you're taking the podcast to try to capture. Now you're trying, you're capturing data where then you're, and now you're building a database so you can remind them of the, of the next publicated uh, podcast with, you know, and so forth. So you, that might be one way to take them from a listener to a, building a database where you could then remarket to them ongoing to here's our next show. Here's our next show. And, don't miss the following show and the next interview and so on. Yeah, that's an excellent idea. You can say, you know, people who join the newsletter, you know, whatever. But if yeah, you join you the newsletter, win then... or 
just for joining, you're getting, I'm going to be sending you a hundred dollar restaurant savings voucher and you get a chance to win five nights in Cancun. So go to our podcast.com page, what have you opt into our newsletter so you can be updated on all of, you know, all of our upcoming uh, 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 broadcasts and, um, and get a chance to win, you know, a five night trip to Cancun. Now, once they do that, then they land on your landing page and opt in. You could turn that virally and say, share this with friends about our about our podcast and uh, you get more chances to win. So, you know, you could be using a, a, pro, a platform called UpViral and there's others like that as well, where the landing page could be designed to help and track um, help track the uh, the signups and the the viral part of it where they're sharing it on they are sharing your podcast links you know to opt in for the contest on on facebook linkedin so on and so forth so that's another another way that you could take them from the downloaded event they listen to to a page to opt in where now they're they're actually helping you share it and helping grow your podcast audience virally excellent and I'm just thinking about the logistics of tracking that, but I'm sure that everybody, once everybody gets uploaded into your CRM, that you can make that all happen. <laughs> right, right. Well, that's one reason why I use a product called UpViral, and they do have a tracking plat system when for even for, they give points for everybody every time they share it on Facebook. And so, yeah, that is a, a bit of a challenge, but right. At a minimum, as they drop into your, um, uh, into your database, you know, you could randomly select winners of the of the contest, and then uh, everybody could get something because it doesn't cost you anything more on Marketing Boost to give everybody a hotel savings voucher at a, at a minimal, you know, so that they've got something for going through the, the steps, for example. So let's just talk about, I'm sure people are wondering, like, let's say that I give somebody just like a $100 restaurant card. What, what, Roughly, would you expect that to be for the taxes piece, or what? What your your um, recipient would have to come up with? The restaurant voucher is uh, they're powered by a company called Dining Advantage. You might remember, um, and the and that's owned by the Entertainment Group. These are the guys that had remember they used to sell these huge fat coupon books that our kids would have to go door to door and sell <laughs> to raise money for the high school or what have you. So it's the same platform. It's now a phone app. And what, what they sell for $40, uh, our, our members get for $7.95. So that can be paid for by the Marketing Boost member or the client. They activate the, uh, the, the voucher for $7.95. They get a phone app to download. They put in their zip code. And now they can look at all the participating businesses and restaurants. There's even more than just restaurants, actually. You know, you can save on oil, you know, car oil change, movie tickets, all kinds of stuff. And, uh, and so the, um, the, it's a phone app, they put in the zip code and you see everything in your area and then you can start you know, downloading in the, the different coupons and using them in your local area. Or even when you travel, you can use them wherever you're traveling by plugging in that zip code. So that's the, the power of the restaurant vouchers, only 795. The hotel savings vouchers have no cost at all to activate until they go to book a room. So when they book a room, they're gonna be saving up to, well, whatever the face value of the hotel savings card is up to 100, two, three or $500. There's no cost until they actually search for the hotel they wanted, saw it, liked it, booked it. And then they're gonna only be paying for the hotel based on the discounted rate. So they're saving money. They're not gonna get a free room, but they're gonna get a savings from 10 to 50% off. And on the complimentary hotel stays, the average uh, activation fee is about $30 a night. So uh, a five, uh, a three night stay is $90 to activate the certificate. And they're getting hotel stays valued at from, you know, three to $900 approximately uh, for, you know, they typically can run as high as $350 a night value. So it does depend upon what hotel, what time of the year, et cetera. That's why I said the complimentary hotel stays run from an average of value wise perceived value from uh, a real value compared to retail rates from about uh, three, uh, 350 to $1,800. Okay. And if you pay in advance, so you couldn't really though, if you, you know, you were saying you could pay for your clients if you wanted to, but you couldn't do that in advance because you wouldn't know where they were staying. Right. No. Yes. It does work in advance. So there's a, 
Uh, you pay the activation fee for your client in advance by funding your wallet on marketingboost.com. You fund your wallet. You can act pay for the certificate that you're sending to the client. And then they have 18 months to select travel dates after you've sent them the certificate. So whether if you paid it, they still have 18 months. And if the client paid for it on their own, then after they activate the certificate, they have 18 months to select travel um, uh, dates for that destination that they're activated. Okay. And if they don't do it, does the money go back into your, you know, stays in your wallet? If they don't, uh, if they never travel, they lose the certificate, they forget about it, you know, whatever. Correct. But it doesn't go back into your wallet. No, it stays in mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair, fair enough. <laughs> That's yeah, part of the I mean, business model, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So in that in that scenario, are you choosing the hotel for them? Or are you just no, still, it's still we, anyone? Each in destination will it? have, uh, uh, when they activate the certificate, they're going to have, uh, and they look in, for, they plug in their dates. Uh, they're going to have from, from one to, to three, typically about three hotels to choose from participating resorts in each of the destinations when it comes to the complimentary hotel stays. And on the hotel savings vouchers, they will have hundreds of hotels in each city, over a million hotels participating you know, worldwide. So that's really, the hotel savings cards are just like shopping on Expedia, except they're getting our wholesale travel rates versus a retailer. So they're getting our, do a zero markup and that's really where the savings comes in based on the, the, uh, providing them with our net wholesale travel rate. So it's the money that would have been going to Expedia or whatever for you to, right. like their kind of piece of that. Interesting. And that's what they're, that's what they're saving. And uh, so they're if, if on Expedia, it's $200 a night. And on our platform, it's 150. They book a three night stay, they can be saving you know $150 on one booking. Uh, if they're booking a, you know, if it's $200 on Expedia on our site, it's $100 based on our cost, wholesale net rate. Then and they booked a five night stay, they could be saving $500 on one booking with a $500 hotel savings voucher. So they could either save all the money on one booking, or if not, they're going to have a balance of cash credits available for the future booking. So, um, yeah, yeah, the hotel savings cards are, are great. I, you know, we have any, all of members of ours use them all the time for themselves to travel as well. So as a member, you get to use the, all of these yourself to try to, to experience, you know, discount travel with the hotel savings cards, and you get to test out one of the complimentary hotel stays. So we, um, and I strongly recommend right now Cancun. We've got some amazing AAA four diamond resorts participating in Cancun and Cabo San Lucas, Puerto Vallarta, that can be um, uh, all of anybody joining Marketing Boost should give themselves, I recommend one of those again, and experience it for yourself, traveling where you're, you know, at, at, at next to nothing, just paying the government taxes, and you will be an evangelist for Marketing Boost, you'll, believe, you'll see how the program works, you'll understand it, and then you'll feel great about giving them to your clients. Yeah, excellent. Um so Marco, are you seeing any, like a, a specific industry or like one real place where you say, you know, hey, if you do this, you absolutely have to do this because we're seeing such huge success here or even a category, you know, that's yeah, well, kind of like a real. I, I can share this with you. Here's an idea. I've got hundreds of insurance agents that use our product. And one of the ways they do, a lot of them are using this tactic, which you're going to, anybody listening will find interesting. One of the ways to set yourself apart from everybody else and to brand uh, and build your own authority, your own personal brand or your business brand is to support local charities in your community and local nonprofits, local fundraising. It may even be, you know, the high school football team in your area. So you walk, you step up and say, look, my company would like to sponsor the event or be a co-sponsor. We want to provide you guys with, you know, six complimentary hotel stays, three in Las Vegas, three in Orlando and and three in Cancun. So we're giving away, we're going to give you nine trips that you can auction off, sell raffle tickets to, um, uh, do whatever you like with them. You keep all the money raised from the fundraising at the event with these hotel, complimentary hotel stays. And uh, all I'm asking for is the opportunity for, you know, to uh, 
quickly at the day of the auction, tell everybody how these incentives works. You're going to stand up and give them the three disclosure. Doesn't include error, doesn't include food and beverage, doesn't include government taxes. And, and by the way, I'm the expert. I'm the insurance expert. If you need this, if you need that, I'm the financial, uh, uh, you know, boom, boom, boom. You give them your, your, your elevator pitch. And now you're presenting yourself as not the salesman, you know, always on sales mode, but no, you're coming in as the philanthropist, the authority, the community hero, really, by helping raise money for whatever the cause was. And then people will look to you to go, well, you know, what's your business card? I, you know, and let me, uh, let's, let's stay in touch. And before you know it, those, those are turning into prospects. And then everybody who donated and won the certificate at the auction, you know, you're going to be potentially hand delivering those to those folks, to, again, to review how they work and they become prospects. So by the way, here's what, in one more time, here's what I do in case you need a realtor. I'm the realtor expert. I'm the and, insurance expert. I'm the, heck, you can do that. I'm the plumber. I'm the expert plumber in the community. You can do that with whatever you do and support local nonprofits. But I've got, you know, to answer your question, as far as a niche, we literally have everything from, from, I got thousands of business owners that use our service around the world. Everything from, from business coaches to, to lemonade stands in, in the Northeast to car dealerships in Chicago to, you know, um, uh, boat charter companies to, I mean, I could, the, 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 it's just about every, it amazes me is how wide of a niche we have of every kind of industry out there, multi-level marketing companies, use them to get people to show up for the, for the business opportunity meetings. Uh, uh, I've got solar panel and home improvement companies that use it to get people to show, you know, to, uh, as an extra bonus to allow the salesmen to really in-home presentations. I mean, they can be, they can, there's just so many ways to skin the cat with travel incentives. And right now there's never been a better time to use travel incentives because people are, you know, one with the current economy, everyone's looking to save money, but two, there's truly what I call revenge travel. People, <laughs> love it <laughs> we are sick and tired of lockdowns and face masks and all the other uh restrictions that people are they want to go somewhere even if it's you know within a couple of hundred miles drive somewhere you know driving local destinations or getting yeah. on a plane but people want to travel and the travel incentives will be eye grabbing and eye catching to help you enhance whatever you do. We're not the magic bullet. I mean, we're not gonna make you a million dollars if you don't already have a, something of a business that's already you know, proving that, that you're not solving people's problems, then we're not gonna be the solution. So you've gotta have a product that solves people's problems. You've gotta have the ability to sell your product you know, yesterday. And if you add marketing boost to it, then tomorrow you're gonna to be able to enhance that. You're gonna be, you'll find ways to, to grow it either a lot or a little. So mm -hmm. whether you use our marketing boost programs and you know, uh, you know, as, as major parts of your marketing programs, or even if you just sprinkle them in every now and then, we make it so affordable that if you only get generate a few extra clients a year out of marketing boost, it's worth it. And, yeah. and one last thing I'll say, share, well, really not necessarily last, but here's a powerful <laughs> thing, Christine, that is solving customer uh, issues. Um, you, got, you made a mistake. Somebody in your team dropped the ball. You took too long to provide the, the product. They shipped the wrong thing. Well, you can, you know, they're ready to write negative reviews. Your clients all been out of shape. You get on the phone with them and you say, listen, we want to take, we want to, you know, set the reset button, please. We want to, you know, we're going to fix this problem. We want to make it right. We're going to ship you a new one. We're going to whatever, whatever you have to do. And also, then you might come in and say, by the way, if you take down that negative review you wrote, I mean, I want to, I, I will give you a five night trip to Cancun, Mexico on me. It doesn't include airfare, food and beverage or taxes, but I want to give you that just to, just for the aggravation you've been through. And if, if, uh, if you'd consider taking that review down, we'd really appreciate it. And I want to reward you with this incentive. And now you've got some, you know, you can solve a problem and, and control you and help manage your online reputation from a mistake you might've made and get it fixed with the usually incentive to pull down a negative review and keep your online reputation clean, for example. Mm -hmm. Or another way that, that we've seen many members use these is actually use the incentives 
to acquire more written reviews or even better video reviews. Um, we have uh, one of our own companies, we've used the incentives to generate over 30,000 video testimonials and uh, more than any other travel site in the world by promoting a, asking people to film a selfie video from the beach, the resort, the pool, the bar, whatever, the, and brag about the hotel brand and brag about ours. And if they do that, we reward them with a bonus trip. And it's been, it's been that's, that's actually how we started marketingboost.com. It, it, we, we did it to solve our own need for, and, and, and re, we needed and wanted video reviews. And so we launched, we came up with this idea to get to motivate people to go the extra mile of writing us, uh, filming a video testimonial. And that became what was uh, eventually became marketingboost.com because we, we were so successful at generating video testimonials. Wow, that is that you know that's a fantastic idea. It's so funny, thirty thousand. Most people be like, if I could get thirty video reviews, I'd be psyched. You know, <laughs> exactly. And and you know, nobody's gonna watch thirty thousand video reviews. <laughs> you, you, you you only need uh, a ten or twelve, right? And and right. no one's even gonna watch ten or twelve. But the <laughs> fact that you've got ten or twelve video testimonials on your site is the social proof that you need to show that your product is legit, that you're legit, that you are what, what you say you are. So generating video testimonials is very, very powerful. And people will watch one or two, but uh, you know, and that is, and they won't even watch necessarily the whole thing, but they wanna get a feel for, are, are these reviews real? Yeah. And you can't lie about video reviews compared to the written ones. Anybody could have written a written one, but the video ones is at least, wow, that's a real person they're talking about this product or service. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, they, they're powerful. So that's a, a strong tool. And we also show people how to do that on, within marketingboost.com. Awesome. So I'm assuming that if people want to try this out, that they should go to marketingboost.com. <laughs> I'm just that's going on a limb here. I'm just going to guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That's all you got to do to, to uh, sign up. We, we do have a special offer for your listeners, Christine. If you go to marketing boost, can I say that? Can I offer? A yeah, yeah, please. I'm sure if everybody you, would love if that. You go to marketingboost.com forward slash podcast, then you can get 30 days of marketing boost for only one dollar. So uh, otherwise, we do offer a seven day free trial if you just go to marketingboost.com. But 30 days for one dollar if you go to marketingboost.com forward slash podcast. First thing I recommend you do is. Uh, send yourself a complimentary hotel stay so you can just go through the process. Uh, I recommend Cancun and check out the check one out for yourself. Give yourself a free trip so that you can uh, experience it. And if not, at least give yourself, you know, the rest. Uh, you can give yourself all of them, the restaurant savings voucher, the hotel <laughs> savings card and start checking out how the product works. And of course, join our Facebook group and ask all the questions you want uh as to uh how to use it excellent so all those links of course are going to be in the show notes so you don't have to try to write things down while you're driving if you can't happen to remember marketingboost.com forward slash podcast but um and the worst thing what's the worst thing that could happen you end up on a great trip to cancun for a buck <laughs> plus but that doesn't include airfare and whatever else you said <laughs> Christine, I, I want to kind of apologize if, if, if this came across like an infomercial or what have you, I'm sorry, uh, but I just wanted to, I get very excited. My mission here is really to help business owners around the world, scale their business, grow their sales. So we help business owners and we help the, the, our business owners clients travel more affordably. So I really enjoy it. And our price point is so affordable that, that it's, it's, to me, it's a no brainer to give it a shot. And uh, so again, I apologize if we came across as you know a, a whole infomercial here, but but I think it's exciting. And if nothing else, your listeners out there, join Marketing Boost or not, start using coming up with your own incentives. If nothing else, create your own value add products or, or bonuses so that you can enhance your call to action versus discounting, which is a very bad habit. Absolutely. That's an excellent point, actually, because that's, you know, as a real estate agent, that's something that that constantly comes up in meetings. Oh, you know, my client wants me to discount the commission and, you know, like, you know, you're, 
instead of saying, oh, okay, yeah, you know, I really want your business. So I'll give you, you know, even a little bit of a percentage is a lot of money. I mean, this is, you know, you're going to go to your, you know, CPA and say, hey, you know, you, would you give me a deal? You know, (laughs) you're, you're a professional. So instead of even entertaining the idea of discounts or sales or something like that, add some more value because people are definitely willing to pay for that additional value. They want it right they right whatever that value is and in your business it might be look we include we're going to be including the photography we're going to be including the 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 drone shot we're going to be doing the advertising for your for your property you know we're going to be whatever 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 right and um and thus you know a discount is is not out of the question but i tell you what i will do for you you know uh after we get your house sold etc etc i'm going to this is going to be you know, we're going to take all the stress out of this, including I'm giving you, I'm going to give you a five night stay in Cancun when we close on your, on your house. How's that sound? <laughs> you know, it's like, I've got this special relationship with this travel partner of ours. By the way, these, this is your little secret because your client will never know that uh, about marketing boost. Right. They're going to redeem these trips on our website called redeemvacations.com. So they're going to activate it, travel, book, and they'll never know that this only cost you 37 a month, for example. Yeah. So this is a, so you can tell the client, you know, look, we've got a special travel relationship with our travel partner, redeemvacations.com. I have a few of these trips left over for our special clients like you that have a home with valued at over 500,000. So what I'm going to be able to do for you is I'm going to give you a five night trip to Cancun when we close your sale, your house. How's that sound? You know, or. You know, you, you, with the real estate, there's rules. You got to be careful, Yeah. you know, but as long as you're not tying it to the transaction, I'm not your lawyer, but in the insurance industry, same thing. There's rules to follow on when you can offer an incentive and when you can't. Uh, I'm not, again, I'm not your attorney on all of that, but trust me, they can be used in the insurance and the real estate industry um, with caution. Yep. Yep. All right. Excellent. Excellent. So Marco, um, I've loved hearing all this stuff and it's, it's open, you know, it's even got me thinking about other kinds of things, like you say, even unrelated to, to marketingboost.com that you can use as lesser incentives until they get to the trip, you know, and, and things like that. So that that's the carrot, but there are other little, you know, I guess carrot sticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's crumbs <laughs> along the way before yeah, you exactly. get to the big carrot. <laughs> Some bread crumbs that lead them up to the big carrot. But is there anything that you wish I would have asked you? Anything that you know you you're dying to share that that I just didn't think to to touch on? Well, outside of marketing boost, outside of incentives, what I always like to uh, share with business owners and want to be entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs, etc., is uh, stop trying to do it all yourself. Um, Stop being the, you know, it, it can be overwhelming with how much work there is to do to build the website, to do the marketing, to do the, the. so what you've got to do is build a team e- immediately. You know, you've got to hire people. And today there's never been an easier way to hire people on Fiverr or other uh, online platforms to find people to help you build your site, build your logos, do everything, build your, you know, get your automation in place. There's so much technology. There's so many people, ways to find people that are smarter than you at certain areas that you're not an expert at. Hire them, put it, put the money out there, invest in a team and you will grow. If you continue to think small and be a one man show, you will be small and you will be a one man show for the rest of your life. Mark, that, that's such an important point, right? Because I know a lot of entrepreneurs, they're thinking, oh, you know, I don't have the money to do this and I don't have the money to do that. And, you know, I've got to learn how to be a Facebook thing and I've got to learn how to do this. And it's just like, I, somebody said something to me the other day that I just love. Um, it's money is a fluid money. You know, it's, a, it's, um, here we go. Now I'm not going to be able to remember the exact thing, but basically, you know, m- money is a fluid asset. It's got to keep moving. You've got to keep it moving. And the more you, you, more you go out and the more you support the economy and bring in people who are experts, the more it's going to come back to you because that's just the way, that's just the way it works. That's the way the law of attraction works. You know, you don't sit there thinking, Oh, how am I going to, you know, rub these two pennies together and make a million bucks? You're not, you know, you've just got to go all in and say, I'm going to succeed here. And this is the way I'm going to do it by giving and giving and giving to my community, to my people, to my whatever. And then, you know, and that's how it all just comes back to you in a big flood. Yep. 
-hmm. and and having you know uh, outsourcing some of it yeah anything that you do over and over and over if you do it every day every day as part of your business then you need to turn that into a business process and outsource it that way you can focus on the next big thing and you can see the you can see the business from a, from a little further out you can see what it needs next and how I grow it next versus just being stuck in the, um, mon the mon mundane routine of da data entry or whatever it is. You right. Well, and it's soul day. sucking, right? Do the stuff that only you can do and leave everything else to someone else because it's, first of all, it's so energizing being part of a team, right? You got it. Instead, you, you know, you're directing this team of professionals instead of like, okay, I got to do another 25 Facebook posts or something, you know, it's just, it's fantastic. And then you get more energy and you get more ideas and you get more jived about the company. And the next, you know, everybody you talk to is just like, wow, what is this company? This person's really excited. I got to find out more about it. You know, you just become like this, you know, swirling, thing that's attracting all kinds of great stuff all around you. So uh, yeah, hundred percent, get rid of the crap that you hate to do. <laughs> and the 80, yep. 20 rule, right? This 80% of your time is going to be on the, the stupid crappy jobs that produce 20% of your business. And just like, let those 80% go to someone who can do them and, and then spend your hundred percent on the 20% that's, and that it's really going to bring everything the, exactly the way you want it. Yep. Cool. Awesome. Thank you for having me, Christine. Thank you, Marco. That was a lot of fun. I, I, you, you have, like I said, give me lots of things to think about. So I, awesome. I very much appreciate that. And, and I know listeners that you now also have lots of things to think about. Definitely go to marketingboost.com and check out, you know, I mean, for a dollar, you know, try it out and go on a vacation. <laughs> if you love it, then get some other people. I mean, no matter what business you're in, everybody loves free stuff. So I think you can turn that $37 into 37,000, 37, I don't want to like get into the millions. Yeah, yeah. I know that scares people, but. Um. <laughs> oh, exactly. It's exactly right. And it's, and uh, well, we've got plenty of case studies on the website to give you more ideas as well. So yeah. go there, click on a link called case studies, and you'll see real people that have implemented these incentives to totally change their business. And also listeners, I know, you know, somebody else who you would like to give you something <laughs> so share this episode with them as well, because um, if you do, maybe I'll give you something once I get signed up with marketingboost.com. And also they will thank you very much. Maybe they'll take you to dinner with one of the restaurant coupons. Have a fantastic day and we'll see you next week.